Right, so plan this afternoon. I'm about to uh, do a bit of lure fishing, see if I can find a bass anywhere. Now, I finished work a couple of hours ago. We're two hours into the flood uh, tide now. Um, it's spring tides at the moment, so I think low tide was about a metre, 1.2 metres. High tide's around about the nine metre mark. Um, yeah, and I'm just going to hop around some rocks and see if I can find some sheltered places to get a few casts away, really. We've got a 25 mile an hour west to northwest wind at the moment. Um, I'm just looking out and the sea this side is, is pretty calm. As long as you can find a bit of shelter, it should be okay. So plan is to use some soft plastics, um, probably weedless. Uh, Evo bass lures, I've got a few sidewinder lures I have hardly ever used so I might give them a go as well. Um, probably get about two hours before darkness, so depending on how it goes, um, I may stay that whole time, I might move on, I'm not too sure. But I'm just going to get the rod out and set up now and uh, yeah, I'll see you down on the rocks. Now the tide is still actually quite low. Um, like I said before, it's about two hours into the flood. And I actually came here last week and fished it and managed to get a bass. It was the first one I've ever caught here. Um, but it's actually <coughs> quite nice coming down when the tide's a bit lower because I'm able to see exactly what the ground is that I was fishing over last time. So I'd give it about an hour or so, maybe an hour and a half until it reaches that same state of tide again. And so in the meantime, I'll just find a rock, have a few casts. I'll be chucking this lure out first, the Evo Bass launch, and we'll see if we can find anything. first cast and I just had a little little rasp pop up and investigate things close in. Now the wind's a bit of a nightmare today. It's gusting pretty hard. So it does limit um, the area you can cast into a bit. But hopefully with the tide flooding in, might bring the bass on the feed. They might start hunting close in, so let's see. Right, let's go for a little wander. That was a really late take and it is a little bass. You beauty. This is the first cast I've had in this spot. Is he going to stay on there? He is lively. I'm going to have to lift him up. Yeah. Well, he's only a tiny one. Now, I haven't been filming that much because um, I moved to a spot and had about 10 casts. Calm down, mate. Yeah, I had about 10 casts. I was just really playing about and waiting for the tide to come in. Right, I'll just let him calm down a bit. And then uh, I saw it flooding into this area. Sorry, I'm on the state here, but there we go. Really small bass, but lovely to see anyway. I'll get him unhooked, get you a better show. Well, here we have it. One small bass. Once again on the Evo Bass uh, launch. 
Now this hook should come out. Oh God, I'm sorry about the wind. I'm facing right into the wind here. Just let a bit of line off there. All right, calm down, buddy. It should come clean out. Come on, open wide. There we go. Just pop him down, he's gonna go a bit crazy. All flared up. All right, mate, don't get yourself in a tangle. But beautiful, little basil. Oh, he's properly flared up. But well, there we are, one little bass. Now let's get him back. Off he goes. Well, the wind's picking up now. But that was first cast off this little spot. Now what I was doing, I don't know if you can see very well, I was fishing behind these rocks over there somewhere, just sort of waiting for the tide to flood in. Those rocks that are just about covered now, that's where I started. That was only about 20 minutes ago. And so I came over here and I cast the lure out just right in front of that rock, a bit further out. And that little bass took close in here. It's sand further out. There's a boy out there, I don't know if you can see that. And then there's a uh, rough ground here and then another channel that runs through and it took just in here so without wasting any more time i'm going to get it back out there now i'm not casting too far and all i was really doing then was just a straight retrieve with the odd twitch here and there There's so much tide that runs through here. I was actually thinking of changing lure so I could get a bit more movement, but it seemed to work. So for now, I'm gonna keep this, this lure on and see if I can find a bigger one. I love how the bass have got so much blue in their fins at the moment. It looks so cool. Now the only difficulty fishing at the moment is with the wind, it gives you a lot of slack line. And obviously with the tide as well. So you really got to concentrate and just feel what the lure's doing as much as you can really. I'm gonna blast that one a bit further out. The light's fading now. I knew I wouldn't get long in daylight. It's a really cloudy overcast day. I have got the head torch with me in case I do decide to stay out into darkness for a bit. Swell's picking up now with the tide flooding in. Now what I'm going to do is just put a Savage Gear gravity stick on with the paddle tail. This one's weighted. Just to get a little bit more movement in the water. It's a strong rip that's coming through and the wind isn't helping. So I'm going to have a few casts with this and see if this can find any bass. Oh, 
after a faster retrieve with this lure because with it being a weighted hook it's bouncing off the rocks and could easily get snagged so I'm just holding the rod tip pretty high and on a bit of a faster retrieve I may not keep this lure on that long that wind is howling today not pleasant to be out in I think I'll give it the one more cast after this and then I'm going to head off. Lisa got one small bass, happy about that. And I've got the day off tomorrow, so plenty more time to go out and hunt some more. Well, that's going to do it for today. Just the one little bass, but happy to get it anyway. Evo bass lures again, they're pretty much the only lures I've been using recently. Ideal for this time of year, slow retrieves, just bouncing them around. So yeah, going to be off tomorrow, day off, so I'll definitely be out. The wind's meant to drop um, a lot as well, so that's good. So uh, until the next time, see you again. <laughs>